Oh man, I'm fighting this room so hard. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 and today we're gonna attempt the challenge of an ALR, Air Launch Rocket, to take it into orbit and we'll take it one step further to take it to the moon. And uh, the previous two episodes is us doing some tests, like A, what does it take to take to get a probe to the moon? There we go, and did we land? Are we straight up? And the second one is to test like if we can get a plane in the air and launch a rocket, but we encounter like a bug or something. And then detach. But anyways, uh, so I think I might have come up with an idea and <clears throat> I don't know how to put this. We're not going to use a, a the runway per se. We are going to use the uh, launch pad over here. Let me show you what I've done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the ALR MK. Five, six, MK6. And this is what I have. Like, I don't know. We can try to add wheels on the bottom and take it to the, the runway. Uh, but we will, like, have to see if, like, if this will work. Let's see if this will work. And here we are on the launch pad. This thing looks magnificent. And uh, let's go for launch. Okay, this is... Let's just go. All right, SAS is turned on. It is, let's point straight up. Okay, and then we're just gonna lock the SAS and start turning towards the horizon because it needs to be still in the air, the aircraft. We're just using a different method of launching, you know, like uh, instead of a runway, we're using the launch pad. Okay, very, very stable little thing. Little thing, big thing. But there are steps I have to do in order to make sure that... Okay, it is time for launch. Switching that off, staging. And full throttle. Here we go. Oh yes, I forgot I had to use a, a tiny engine over here. Uh, I should have used a bigger one. You can start aiming towards that. There we go. Look at our little guy. And we did launch from the air. Like, there's our plane. Eddie. There we go. We are definitely going into the atmosphere. Or out of the atmosphere. And let's go ahead and plan our maneuver. I don't like this thing a lot. But let's add a maneuver. And just want to... And now we are in a very nice stable orbit. Uh, around 90 and 85. Which is very, very good. Okay, uh, now the moon is over there. I could try and put it like 12-ish. Uh, let's go ahead and set us target. Uh, 1.2 degrees. E? Okay. Not the end of the world, but it's something. Let's just warp to... It's going to be dark on the dark side of Kerbin. But let's see if we cannot... It might make it easier to spot the moon. Yeah, there we go. I see it. I see it. Okay, point to that. And... We'll burn. And let our apoapsis... Oh, well, let our... Uh, thing grow. We still have a lot of fuel left. 50... 25. I feel like that's a, that's a good uh, height. And it doesn't indicate that we're crashing or anything. So we're 24. And what we can do is put ourselves retrograde. And then we can sort of almost equatorial. Let's quick save again and time up to this point. Here. Uh, how long till like three minutes? Okay, now I think we're good. We're in a nice orbit, and 
kind of came in wonky. I feel like, yeah, over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stage now. And time up a bit and stop. And kill our momentum. And we don't have a lot of fuel left. Try and kill our orbital speed. And now it is time for our descent. We have 200 delta V left. Not much. I don't know why it chewed through our tank over here. But it it's a thing. It happened. I'm trying to look downwards to see like if we are moving in any sort of direction. And it does not look like it. But what we can do is give ourselves a tiny amount of boost just to bring down our super speed. Okay, so I don't know why it does that. Like when you're coming down for a landing and you time warp faster and then back to normal, it stops all your motion downwards. Like our surface speed was like over 100 or something and then it just shot, out, shot down to 50. So this is what making the landings much easier, but it shouldn't be that way. Not defying the laws of physics here. I want to keep it up below 8 meters a second. Okay, we're just drifting now. We don't want to do that. A bit more. Okay. And a bit more. A little bit more. And... There we go. It has turned off. And we are landed. There we go. Yay. And why can't we? Now we can. Uh, oh, I didn't bind the action groups though. Okay, finally we did land. We successfully landed. I think that's how the challenge went. But it's pretty interesting. Very interesting challenge, except for like the bug part we had with the planes. There's one more thing I would like to try. So give me a moment. Let me see if I cannot get that, get this thing going and then we'll be right back. So hold on tight. Okay, so what I've done. Okay, so I can see that the plane is oriented to the left for some reason. But anyways, welcome back. Um, I've spent about 20-ish minutes designing from scratch a ship sort of like what we had uh, except for it doesn't have air breathing engines it's pure rockets um the bit of a different nose cone with the uh, landing gears and things i don't think we're gonna land on the moon i just want to see if this thing takes off uh i cannot remove this thing now um just want to you know test it out see if this works and well let's go uh that and I'm gonna steer it back. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. I just want to see if I cannot put the gears away. It says on. No, 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 don't. Man, I hate the SAS actually in this game. Let's see if we cannot steer you correctly. Go up. Go up. There we go. There you go, little guy. Look at wagging its tail. Flap them wings. Now, I did do a test run earlier today, or just before this one, and it looks like we have the same issue, but not the calm connection error thing. Uh, it's when we detach and or stage, and for some reason the uh, what do you call it? the 
separators and stack decouplers and all those things seem to get still stuck on all the parts. I'm sorry, like I'm just trying to get this thing to look into up into the air. We're gonna I'm gonna see if I cannot use all the fuel, then stage. Maybe that will work, I don't know. Come on. Oh, don't don't you slip on me. Oh man, I'm fighting this thing so hard. And they're like... Oh, like, okay, yeah, well, that would have worked. And deploy the landing gear. Why is it not deploying? Here we go. Okay, so it's on, point up. It's not pointing up. Okay, well, that would have worked. Can you point yourself upwards? Nah, it's not. Hey, but it's very aerodynamically stable. Okay, but yeah, like I said, it would have worked if I remember to give it a little bit more go juice. Like, I killed the engines, staged, and I forgot to re enable the thrusters and whatnot. I wish there was like something I could do. Maybe action groups, like, as soon as I press one, then it shuts down one engine and decouples and switches on the other engine or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, we're free falling. And with that, challenge complete. Thanks so much for joining me here on Kerbal Space Program 2. Hope you guys did enjoy. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.